And honestly, I think I'm going to change my position on thinking that Andrew Tate is a Muslim. How is Andrew Tate a Muslim? I'm not saying that he is or he's not a Muslim. I'll leave that up to you guys to decide at the end of the video. I'm simply just asking a question. Obviously, he said his Shahada, which makes him a Muslim reaver or a convert. But his actions are a little bit iffy. People gave him the benefit of the doubt at the beginning because he was still a new Muslim. He's still learning. By now, it's been about two years since he converted or became a Muslim. I think that's long enough to know the most basic stuff and the most basic principles of Islam. For example, not knowing how to answer a simple question like, do Muslims believe that Jesus is the son of God? So they believe that Jesus is the son of God? Yeah. Okay. They believe he was a messenger. They don't believe he's a son of God. I have to be, I, I, I don't want to say anything incorrect. A clear and concise answer would have been, no, Muslims do not think he's a son of God. After that, he continued to affirm false points about Islam. I guess the very simplistic way to understand or explain Islam is they believe in the Bible. They believe in all of it. And that's simply not true. We don't believe in the same Bible that these Christians have today. We believe in a Bible that Jesus preached and that Bible is nowhere to be found today. Then he continues to say, they wrote one more book after that, after the Bible. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, did not write the Quran. These things are so basic. You do not have an excuse for not knowing it. He also continues to say, the prophet said the Christians are right and everything they say or everything in their Bible is right. By one more messenger, Muhammad, peace be upon him. And in his book, he said, Christians are right. Everything's right. But there's also this part. Also not true. This guy is making statements that are nowhere close to being true. But you believe he read the Quran multiple times like he said? Huh? Reading books is a very cheap way to, I guess, entertain. I wouldn't call it entertainment because my brain is far too advanced. I'm too smart to read. I know you're sitting there and go, smart people read. No, I need action. I need constant chaos in my life to feel content. I need to be driving a supercar and fucking fighting, fucking a bunch of hoes and champagne and going crazy. I can't just sit there, oh, oh, and the pirate on the boat. Like, just for, for people with slow brains. Many things can be pointed out about Andrew Tate and how his actions contradict everything Islam preaches. Check this clip out. So we are going to church. Well, I'm going. So it's midnight, we're going to worship Jesus. Yeah. Is that like the whole community? The whole community, everyone in this country will go out. So we're a bunch of guys getting in their supercars on a mission to go and praise Jesus. Basically, yeah. Praise the Lord. Let's go, amen. Nothing more inspirational than saddling up with your boys and a bunch of supercars and taking time out your day to go and praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Doesn't a get, amen. It doesn't get better than that, does it, Bailey? It doesn't. What most of the convention around your events? Mine, mate. <laughs> Mine too. Andrew, you're at church with me. Yeah, absolutely. This is amazing. We have Christians and Muslims we can unite over love for Jesus Christ. That is actually true. I know it's true. <laughs> for those that don't know, it's Easter Sunday and uh, we're at church. Midnight, and we're gonna light a candle. I can't wait. Me neither. <laughs> Some people might say he was joking. I don't think he was joking, so I could be wrong. Another example is that Andrew Tate is buddy buddy and friends with Tommy Robinson, who said and continues to say filthy things about Islam and Muslims. What's the connection? How did you and Tommy Robinson come about? Yeah, we're both from Luton, so we both know each other and we've always kind of known each other. And I've always understood his patriotism and his desire to have the UK, a Christian country and with, full of English people. I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think it's ever bad to be patriotic about the place you're born from. But um, obviously I completely disagree with him on Islam now. At the time, I kind of, I'm not gonna say I agreed with him, but I understood his points. But 
and not just Muslims. He's open about his racism towards anyone that's not English. He claims to be this super British patriot when he's a mutt himself. His real name is not even Tommy Robinson. It's Stephen Christopher Yaxley Lennon. What? Also, Andrew Tate having a spiritual guide, quote unquote, spiritual guide that is a full blown Zionist black magician knowing damn well that takes you out of the folds of Islam. Some are going to say he doesn't know. But two years in of being a Muslim, you should know by now. This Zionist black magician even tried to start a new religion called Tatism by ridiculing Islam. On to the next point that just happened recently, about a day ago, yesterday. Elon Musk posted this picture on Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. And who do we see under that picture commenting, supporting Elon Musk? And what he just said, basically saying that Muslims are controlling England and or some dumb shit like that. You guessed it. Andrew Tate. Bitch, you guessed it. <laughs> you was right. He even called him top E, play on words for top G, top gangster, whatever that means. And honestly, I think I'm going to change my position on thinking that Andrew Tate is a Muslim for the simple fact that he said he's a Christian when he's in Romania and he's a Muslim when he's in Dubai. What's, oh, what's your religion? I, it's kind of like an interesting hybrid. When I'm in Dubai, I'm happy to be Muslim. <laughs> and when I'm in Romania, I'm happy to be Christian. This is only my opinion at the end of the day. My opinion and my opinion only. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, God, Allah, forgive me. If I'm not, I'm going to say I told you so. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again in the next video.